Alright. Enough of eating that devil dust hot ham. <laughs> That's enough of that. It's time to eat some real food. Alright. Let's go. Let's try it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? Okay. Let's get this crap out of the way. This baby's up. Alright. Concentrate. Double dust. Put that away. Okay, what we got going on here? Alright, that looks cool. Alright, let's see. I'm going to show you all how to make up some food. Too bad I ate all that damn cheese. That's alright. That's alright. You guys getting it? I love this mom stick stuff, you know? Get you a paper towel and wipe it off. Okay. Alright, turn around. Turn around. Yeah, I'm gonna make me an egg and ham sandwich. That's what I'm gonna do. Butter. Check this out. Paper plates. Paper plates. Paper plates. Paper plates. Paper plates. Alright. I'm going to do this fast because I'm hungry. I didn't eat all day. Well, I don't know what all day is because I didn't look. Oh, it's 9 o'clock. See? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. I'm starving. Get two slices of bread. All right? This is how we start it out. Okay. I wish I had some money. I'd go get me some food right now. I ain't got no food. I ain't got no food. Thank you, Ann Railton. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying my money. Hope you're enjoying my money. It must be nice. It must be nice to live off other people's money and, and not have no regret. You know, I work hard every day so I can pay my bills and put food on my table. But she, she, she don't want to work. You know, I wish I knew what she was doing was just another scam. I wish. She had me in the judge food. Yeah. She had me in the judge food. Yeah. She had us both food saying that uh, she got estimate, 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 you know, estimate. Yeah. And she, she had us food.
in trouble for that. And, and you sit there and tell the court, judge, that this is what she needs the money for. Okay? This is what she's going to get done. Okay? She had a judge believe in that. She's going to continue to keep the house and rent it out to somebody else. Or sell it. Whatever. Yeah? So she had him believe it, had me believe it. Okay, so this is all this yet. Okay, so, uh, she says, well, you can't still miss a chance for the previous damage that was done before, like the roof leaking and pipes breaking and all that, you know? So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, she says, well, he says, well, what other damages for Mr. Fisher? She's wrong on it that uh, he's got some stuff there uh, and I'm going to have it removed. Okay. And, uh, like, okay. How much is this? So she's got an estimate of uh, $480 to clean the place. That seems okay. Alright, whatever. And then uh, so she's got an estimate. And the cheapest that she could find. The cheapest that she can find. So, see, she had him believing that. She's going to have this done, you know? She's going to have this done. It's all legit. Okay, cool. All right. So, she's going to have this all done. All legit. Found out she abandoned the house. She abandoned the house, you know, abandoned it, lost it, bank took it over, took it over, okay, the bank took over the house, right, now she don't own the house, so she's, she's like, well, she needs money, and she garnished my paycheck, you know, and probably acting like she's still owning the house and she's still gonna have it cleaned, whatever, you know? Huh. She's gonna have it cleaned. And now that the bank owns it, that we're gonna probably most likely come after me because all my stuff is in there. All my stuff is in there, the dead fish, everything. Yeah. And most likely the bank's going to come after me now, saying that you need to get your stuff out of their house. You know? And I'm going to be like, hey, Ann Realton took me to court, sued me, and told the judge that she was going to have it all done. And guys, my paycheck, they're going to be like, whoa, 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 what? Yeah, she took me to court, sued me, got my paycheck 20% to have it done. So she didn't do it, huh? No, she didn't do nothing. Well, now there's going to be judgment out for her. Probably maybe a warrant for arrest. Do they get this straightened out like the court is upset? Not the court, the bank. The bank is upset because now they have a house with holes in the walls and mold in the basement, mold up in the attic, completely unlivable, and all kinds of furniture and, and stuff left behind and not even clean. So right now it's just a house that's ready to be torn down. 
So right now it's worth nothing to the bank. The bank gave them a loan to purchase this house, to buy this house. Okay, so now they're supposed to pay back the money to the bank for, you know, hey. But they used the bank for a profit. Yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets really tricky. They used the bank for a profit, made a bunch of money, you know, all the rent off of the house and everything, and paying their little bit of mortgage payments that they did. And now she abandoned the house, and now the bank is stuck with the house. And so now she owes the bank money. She owes the bank a lot of money. That's what I would say. So all this money that she collected, they're going to say, hey, what were you doing with all this rent money that you were collecting for rent and stuff? She said, well, what money? Said, You've been renting this house for 10 years. Where's the money? Well, she'd be like, what money? Man. We're going to hold you a ticket to court. You owe us $75,000. <laughs> because that's what she was trying to sell the house for. She's trying to sell the house for $75,000 to pay off what they owe. <laughs> or maybe $35,000, whatever. She's she trying to sell the house for thirty seventy five thousand to make another profit. It ain't just that uh, she made a profit off the rent alone. That was not enough. You know, all that time she got the rent money. You know, not fixing nothing, not taking care of nothing. Had me as a fool to take care of her yard work when uh, it was her responsibility. It was her house. I'm not responsible for her property. And if I was, well, then uh, I don't understand why she's sitting there giving me a victory notice for using my property. If I'm taking care of it. Actually, it should be my house. Because I took care of it for 10 years or 16 years. I took care of that house. So most likely it should be my house. So I took care of it. She didn't take care of it. She had some guy paint it and fix it up or whatever to make it look good. But never paid him off either. At least he should get in trouble for that too. But he blew his brains off because he got tired of her playing games with him. Not paying him his money. His wife divorced him and she, he uh in the garage and blew all his brain because well, he couldn't take it no more. Lost his business, his wife left him. He lost everything, everything that he'd worked for. So what she is, she's not just a home wrecker. She's a, a life destroyer. She likes to destroy people's lives just for her own Enjoyment. She enjoys destroying people's lives. There you go. Know. She gets off on making people's lives miserable. She gets off on that. Yeah. Must be nice. To get away with that. Nice. Okay, the toast is burning. Toast is burning, toast is burning, toast is burning, toast is burning, thank you, man. Because Anne again, now you've heard toast. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, beautiful for space. Oh, yeah. That's good. Maybe I should do the other side. 
But I believe she she can probably get in a lot of trouble for what she's doing. You know, what she's pulling off or whatever. It's called scamming. She's scamming. Scamming. Everybody. She's scamming everybody. I mean, she's scamming the government. She's scamming the... Uh, court system and she's scamming the bank. She's scamming me. You know? So I believe there should be warrants out for her arrest. That's what I believe. Now when they tried looking her up at the uh, city hall when they tried looking her up they couldn't even find, they couldn't even find her in the system. Because, for one thing, she's never changed her name. Huh. She went by Ann Riddleton. When her husband divorced her, see, this is another scam she's pulling off. When her husband divorced her, and she's supposed to be using her Maiden name, I guess that is. What is that? Maiden name? No. What is her maiden name? Ann Rilton. So they looked up Ann Rilton and they couldn't even find it in the system. Yeah. Couldn't even find it in the system. It's like, you know, con artist. Con artist. I can't believe she actually went into the court system of the law. <laughs> you know, the law, obtaining the law. She lied about everything in the courtroom. I'm like, Your Honor, she's lying. She's lying. She's lying. My God, is she lying. She lied about everything. Telling the judge, well, yeah, the rough leak slightly for about a year. Once she said to him that I asked Carl nicely, she repeated herself, I asked Carl nicely to put buckets where the roof leaked so it wouldn't run downstairs. That was a lie. Because she told me if I did not go up in the attic with these buckets for the leak, that I need to move. She told me after the ceiling fell, she just told me before she evicted me, she told me, she's a sea cow, this is why I'm telling you, you have to move. You have to move. Move now. You need to get out. You need to get out and move. Find yourself a different place. To live. I cannot afford this place. I had no money to fix this place. That's it. I'm done. That's just true. I wish I had my GoPro playing. But she had a mouse snooping around, looking around. And she's like, where's the leak? Where's the leak? Looking all around for a camera flashing, you know. What you gonna do? Shut it off? You don't come into my place apartment 
on Renton and Controy. Now, I could get her for hiding, hiding the evidence, destroying evidence. Evidence against her saying that she is not fixing it, she don't have money to fix it, and that I need to move. That's the case. No. Well, it's not working the way I want it to. But that's okay. That's okay. That should be, this should be her hand. This should be her food. Why am I still eating? It should be hers. She's not happy that she's getting 20% of my check. She wants all of my check. I better stop. That's a, that's enough, eh? I don't want to see. One more. One more. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a nice big chunk right there. Okay. That's some good ham. Look at that, huh? Give me a piece of that. Num num. Num num. Nothing. She must have took a lot of time to make that page though. Something about kiwi, something, kiwi something. Yeah, she must have took a lot of time to make that page. But another one of her ways of uh, trying to turn people against me, taking a lot of my videos and recopying them, I should get it for copyrights. Yeah. I don't know how she's able to do that, but she's smart. She told me she's smart. Very smart. She was, she was kind of, you don't realize how smart I am. Well, if you're that smart, why don't you use that brain of yours and get your job? You can get a sitting job using that brain. Don't want to, huh? She's just thinking of ways how to scam people and not leave the house. She's probably on that computer 24-7. All of them views, she's not very smart because all them views she's given me. I'm going to get paid off because of her. Thank you, Ann. Yeah, I'm the smart one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the smart one. I told her about my channel and I knew. I knew it. I knew she'd watch every freaking video. She was sit there for hours and hours and hours watching every word I say. Everything I do, she, that's what she's doing. Cool, that's what I want. Now I'll keep making more videos about her until she stops harassing me. 
I just seen it again. Huge. Huge. I think Joe Huge Ass. George Huge Ass or something like that. Y'all probably see in it now. It's a link. Don't click on that link. Now, she wanted me to give that link a shout out. She wants the world because I'm famous. And she wants to use me. See, again, she wants to use me to get herself noticed. And she tried to put out a link like that. People are like, this has got to be Ann Realton. Everybody, it's my ex landlord. Yeah. My ex landlord. She's trying to destroy my life. She's so jealous. My God, she is so jealous of me. Yeah. She's so jealous of me that I'm getting. She even said it. She says, "Why could? Why would people be so bored that they're going to watch?" Me peel a banana. You no, know? watch me peel a banana. See, how can people be so bored that they're going to actually watch that? And then she right away she goes, "Oh, maybe I should make a video about how to to get the seeds out of a pomegranate." And her daughter looked at her, and I looked at her. This has already been done. Well. I want to make money. I want to be on YouTube. Why don't you try it? Instead of scamming me, saying bad stuff about me, why don't you try to make a video of yourself? Let's see how easy it is and Realton. Show us how you can make money on YouTube. Oh, you ain't got the brain for that, huh? So something good. You know what would be would be, would be good? What would be good what would be good is you go clean that house like you're supposed to. Take my money and use my money to clean that house. Clean that house and remove my stuff. Put it on YouTube. There you go. And then you know, maybe uh Talk to the bank saying that you're very sorry for kicking me out and give me the obligation to move back in. You know, and that you feel bad. There you go. That would might make you famous. And then make a YouTube video with me helping me move back in. There you go. That would make you famous. My YouTubers would love to see you make a video with me. Let's be friends. Oh, why can't we be friends? Oh, why can't we be friends? See, I'm willing to let everything go what you did to me. I'm willing to let it all go and be friends. Why can't we be friends, Ann? Just because I spoke the truth about you being a slumlord? Prove them wrong and... Listen to me. Prove them wrong and show them that you're not a slumlord. Show them that you care. Show them that you have a heart. That will get you famous. They got the dogs next door barking. Oh my god, I got more eggs than I thought I did. I went and bought another dozen of eggs when I have. Look at I have a bunch of them here. Oh my god. And these are good eggs. Brown eggs. Mmm. Cage free. Look I didn't know I did had this many. Are you guys counting? Come on, don't go down the drain. Don't go down the drain. Please don't go down the drain. There it goes. Come on. Please don't go. Ah, oh, there it goes.
<laughs> there we go. Okay, you watching? Are you watching? Okay, this eggs are done. I didn't realize I had that many. Well, I got another dozen eggs for uh, next week. Eat eggs, I can live on eggs. Yes, and Milton, if you want to get famous on YouTube, you need to make yourself look good, not bad. You're just making yourself look bad. You're making yourself look like a monster. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Every time you cut me down, you know, and...